Well, let's continue with this story and speak to Newsroom Africa reporter Nasipi Same, who is following it closely. Nasipi, good morning to you. Uh, tell us where you are and why your presence there relates to Malusi Boy, now fired as MMC. Well, Goli, we are currently in Woodlands in Mitchell's Plain at a housing development. As you do know that uh, the former MMC or MAKO member was a human settlement MMC, uh, Malusi Boy. And as we heard from one of the councillor of good there um, speaking on this particular matter where the search and seizure uh, happened on the 16th of March in the offices of the human settlement where we understand that documents, including electronics, were confiscated by a police unit of commercial crimes following uh, investigations into fraud and corruption. And just yesterday, the mayor announcing that he is removing Malusi Boy from uh, his position or, or occupying the position of MAKO in human settlement, however, still retaining um, his position as a councillor. We do understand that at this present moment, no case or cases have been opened against him. Um, but I am joined by a city of Cape Town councillor here from the Cape Coloured Congress, Fadil Adams. Thank you so much for your time. But what do you make out of this recent development by Mayor Jordan Hill Lewis? We're shocked at the mayor's shock. The mayor was warned 14 months ago that this was going to happen. The mayor has gone out and defended these people. Malusi Boy will be hung out to dry. He will be the black sacrifice. But we know that behind the attempt to give, black, to give corruption a black face, there's white fingerprints all over this. We are not shocked. We know what the mayor is. The mayor is the defendant for corruption. In the, 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 he's, he's the advocate for corruption in the city of Cape Town. But we will not stop. We've been fighting this. We've been heckled. We've been illegally ejected out of council. All of this to protect what's now coming to pass. Take us through the build-up. I mean, you speak of 14 months ago. We do understand that it's a forensic report from the AG. I mean, a number of councillors have spoken in regards to this multi-million rand uh, uh, alleged corruption that had, might have taken place under the Human Settlement Department in the city. The city has it's had, it's had made no secret of the fact that it's going to keep this forensic report a secret. We are saying to the mayor, we are saying to the speaker, we are saying to the municipal manager, this is public funds, it is in the public interest. It cannot be a secret. The mayor has said to me, and I've got the response on email, he said that the city cannot release this report because it would need the consent of the administrators and the alleged implicated parties. And that makes no sense either. The mayor is a liar. Jordan E. Lewis has tarnished his own legacy. This forensic report must become public because in it, the crimes against the colored people in the city of Cape Town, that proof is right there. What do we know about this forensic report, uh, Mr. Adams? I know nothing except what I've been told. Unfortunately, what I've been told is that 350 million rands worth of crimes have been committed in one tender, that critical and ailing contracts have been cancelled so that friends of the well-connected can benefit and the poor will continue to die as a result. And on that note, you obviously brought us here to Mitchell's Plain with this housing development at our backdrop. Talk to us about the reasoning behind that. Well, I wanted to show you the product, the end product of our people's housing subsidies. Look at these buildings. We don't see lentils. If I was to ask for the bill of quantities now, because I come from this industry, I guarantee you I'm going to find five major flaws here. But it gets passed off. We actually want to do a count and see if every house has been built, uh, as, as, that has been paid for has been built because these are all the allegations that are, that are hanging around the DA-run city of Cape Town and Western Province right now. I mean, based on what you're saying, would you say that this perhaps might be the tip of the iceberg? We're scratching the surface. I can promise you this. These people are going to jail by the truckload. That is a promise. I mean, he still remains as a, a PR counselor or a counselor, if I'm correct, uh, within the city of Cape Town. What do you think should be done? I think fairness. Fairness should prevail. Malusi Boy has not been charged yet, but he's been fired. Look at the treatment of Nora Gross. She's white. The rules are different. That's how the DA works. And, I mean, obviously there is an interim or an acting MMC for human settlement, Mr. James Foss, who's obviously taken over the responsibilities of former MAKO. Uh, do you think that that in any way might just hinder... 
um, service delivery, which we know that there's thousands of people waiting for homes in the backlog in the city of Cape Town. You know, when you speak service delivery, you're speaking to an affected councillor in, in, in an affected area. There's no service delivery for us. The appointment of James Foss, that's the restoration of the old order. That's what it is. This is an apartheid metro within an apartheid province ruled by an apartheid party. Let me say it on the record. Fadel Adams there, um, Congress, uh, Cape Congress um, uh, councillor there from the city of Cape Town saying that they have actually flagged this particular forensic report uh, apparently from the AG um, in council and uh, what uh, they received is a lot of resistance. However, as much as they welcome the uh, uh, developments following uh, 16th March when uh, the SAPS raided the offices in the city of Cape Town of the offices of Malusi Boy and the confiscation of documents including electronics. They are indeed questioning how the matter has been handled thus far and the fact he, that he has been removed from his position as MMC of Human Settlement. And again, we do understand that as much as you know, charges have not been laid against him or opened against Malusi Boy, he does still remain as councillor in the city of Cape Town. Quite explosive claims there by the person you have just interviewed, Nasipi. Very, very interesting indeed. Very, very uh, strong comments there. Hopefully the Democratic Alliance uh, will come on board. Mayor, Jordan Hill-Lewis, where are you, sir?